starting recording and presentation so that by the time the other people will join you can start writing the problem i am to save time i am typing uh, in the ppt instead of dictating so you people also can start writing that um, uh, on your notebook so we will solve this problem so please copy it I hope everybody is copying this problem. Are you? Yes, ma'am. Around 19 students join. Let us see. Okay. 
okay so what is the uh, we have studied about the various uh, stream pollution okay and in the stream pollution how the water is going to be get uh, regenerated or the self purified because of the presence of natural activities okay so on the basis of that we are going to solve the problem a stream saturated with dissolved oxygen okay has a flow 1.2 meter cube per second it is 1.2 meter cube per second okay bod is having 4 mg per liter whose bod a stream saturated with do has flow 1.2 meter cube per second bod of 4 mg per liter and rate constant is 0.3 per day okay so rate constant in the sense this is a this we are talking about so first of all i will read and uh, whatever the points i want to highlight that only i will highlight because i want you guys to understand that uh, factors so i will not clear everything with, with first reading okay it receives an effluent we who who receives that stream receives means these are the properties of stream that is what i want to tell you these are the stream or the river properties it receives an effluent discharge 0.25 km cube per second having bod 20 mg per liter and do 5 mg per liter okay let me check whether this is correct uh, in example 4 mg per liter is the bod for stream and 5 mg per liter bod of Yes, this is okay. Do this is stream? Yeah, yeah, correct. Huh? It's a bio dissolved oxygen. I thought it's a mm, bio. So dissolved oxygen is five milligram per liter, and rate constant of rate constant in the sense this rate constant and this rate constant. Who will tell me the difference between these two rate constant? what is what kind of rate constant is this and what kind of rate constant is this who will tell me please fast what kind of rate constant is this and what kind of rate constant is this quickly guys something you should know what i said these are the properties okay once again i will erase entire part and i will make you clear or once i will read entire example and then we'll uh, start talking about so what i was telling a stream saturated with a do a stream saturated means these are the properties of stream up to what up to this is the properties of stream so what are the properties which is having flow 1.2 meter cube per second which is having bod 4 mg per liter which is having constant rate constant 0.3 per day okay it receives an effluent discharge of effluent property now started the effluent property from this spot so it receives discharge effluent discharge of 0.25 meter cube per second and it's a bod is 20 mg per liter and it's a dissolved oxygen level is 5 mg per liter and its rate constant is the 1 0.13 per day these are the properties of stream up to this is the properties of stream and above that there is the properties of sorry these are the properties of effluent and these are the properties of stream so the average velocity of flow of stream is average velocity of flow both together okay stream plus effluent average velocity of flow is 0.18 meter per second now what you want to calculate you need to calculate calculate do deficient at point 20 km and 40 km downstream assume that the temperature throughout the stream is 20 uh, is 20 degree celsius 
and beard is measured at a five day tech saturation do at 20 degree celsius as 9.17 mg per liter if sometimes the saturated level of dissol oxygen is not given you should take this one as there is a standard correlation between temperature and the dissol oxygen level so uh, usually stream temperature is being considered as a 20 degree celsius and that's why we are uh, performing the experiment of bod at five day so you can take if it is not mentioned in the example you can take directly that 9.17 mg per liter is the saturation level of dissol oxygen okay now once again i will tell you these are the properties of stream and these are the properties of uh, effluent the velocity the average velocity of flow means what given the average means the combined together means what suppose this is the stream okay i i need to change the pain it is disappearing kind of pain so what we are talking this is the stream okay multiple times i uh, had given this example and this is the spot where sewage is getting disposed and now that sewage is having the different properties what are the different properties of this sewage is given these are mentioned here in this portion and this river is having different properties and these are mentioned in the first part okay so it's a do is given to you it's a bod is given to you it's a flow is given to you and same do bod and bod and a uh, flow of this and then one more factor is given to you rate constant of this and rate constant of this uh, is it given to you rate constant of both these stream uh, flow is given to you so the what is that rate my question to you all guys is what is that rate constant 0.13 and 0.3 this is a stream and stream sa rate constant delay in the sense what happens in the rate stream what stream is doing reoxygenation is doing so it's a reoxygenation rate constant 0.3 per day and this is a rate constant of where is that ha uh, yeah rate constant of effluent so it is the deoxygenation rate constant so it will be 0.13 and it will be 0.3 okay so that way these factors you need to understand and then example is very simple to find out and for the part sorry i have erased but one more part i forgot to tell you in that i will one second ha huh. as if this is the stream okay and in this stream when you are disposing the sewage at a certain spot and the properties of this and properties of this and flow rate of this and flow rate of this is going to you rate constant of this rate constant of this is going to you now you can find out the what you need to calculate calculate do deficit at the point 20 km downstream 20 km downstream and 40 km downstream 40 km downstream what is asked calculate the do deficit means what will be the level of do at this 40 km distance and what will be the level of do at 40 km means what kind of graph will be observed like this or Uh, here will be less or more or here will be less or more that kind of graph you are supposed to find out for these two distance 20 km and 40 km these two coordinates given to you to find out the oxygen sag analysis of that particular stream with these properties okay and saturation level of dissolved oxygen is mentioned already in this and as i told you if not mentioned if it is the 20 degree celsius temperature you can directly take the 9.17 mg per liter as a 
saturation level okay so if you have copied this one shall we start solving that on the whiteboard so i will share the whiteboard sorry stop sharing first and then i need to go to whiteboard and i will open the whiteboard now i need to make it bigger one this is here this is here okay so what is the given data who will tell me first so we will make a table what we will do we will make a table what is the table you can make it guys these are the parameters i will write you here parameters and here i will write the stream and here i will write the effluent okay so what is the first parameter given to you dissolved oxygen okay dissolved oxygen of stream how much is given to you very first sentence someone please read very first sentence quickly you should reply then only even involvement will make this example uh, easier 1.2 cubic no. meter per second what is that 1.2 ka hai doc value no no read it once again can you please read that a stream saturated with do has a flow of 1.2 meter cube per second 1.2 is the flow that you should understand parameters here only that is the challenge in here and once you solve one or two example it will be not become a remain as a challenge so q is given to you 1.2 1.2 meter cube per second am i right and what is the value of do given to you it is mentioned that a stream saturated with do means stream is saturated with a dissolved oxygen and what is the level of uh, saturated level of dissolved oxygen it is mentioned at the end of this example and that is nothing but 9.17 mg per liter do you clear with this guys hello yes yes okay so be with me then i will understand whether you are understanding or not okay here i will write if li under so what is the do of effluent do for the effluent is mentioned in the problem it is 